Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do a spoiler free review of The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I was very kindly sent an ebook copy of The Problem with Forever. All opinions are my own just because this book was sent to me for review doesn't make my opinion any less. I think you guys know that by now that I am very very honest. You can also read a written review on my blog which I've linked below. So The Problem with Forever is a YA contemporary romance. It's set in high school. It's a coming of age story. It's about friendships. It's about love and most importantly it's about finding your voice. For some people silence is a weapon but for our protagonist Mallory Dodge silence is her her way of coping, it's her shield, it's her comfort blanket and for the first time Mallory finds herself having to attend public school. Mallory has been through a lot in her life and she's been homeschooled, she's been adopted by this wonderful family and she decides that she would like to spend her final year in public school. Now Mallory has come a long way in the last few years but she is still very very anxious about attending public school, it's a totally new environment for her and she braves it but when she arrives at school she encounters one person that she never ever expected to find there. She runs into her childhood best friend Ryder Stark and the two instantly recognise each other and they have this incredible connection because they have a very very detailed past together. Ryder was Mallory's best friend, he was her protector, he was her everything and she hasn't seen him since her nightmare ordeal ended and as soon as they're back together, as soon as they see each other, they both realise that that connection never ever really ended. As far as the plot goes I'm not going to tell you anything else because while it seems like I have given you a lot of information that's actually the starting point for this story and I feel like it's the kind of story that you want to go into without knowing too much. I think Mallory is the kind of protagonist that a lot of people are actually really going to gel with because she's very quiet, she's very into herself, she's very anxious, she's afraid, she's timid and I feel like a lot of people are really going to be able to identify with Mallory and her anxieties. The way that Jennifer wrote Mallory's social anxiety came from a very real and raw place, you could tell that. It came from a place of great understanding and I feel like a lot of people are really really going to be able to relate to Mallory in that way. I feel like this book deals with a lot of emotional and sensitive issues and Jennifer writes them in a really tactful and sensitive way and I love that. The only thing I would say is that for me personally the book was a little bit predictable and I hate using that word because it always sounds like such a criticism but it's it's not really, it's just that as I was reading the book I personally felt like I knew what was going to happen and then when that did happen it didn't leave me with the impact that I would have liked it to. Jennifer's one of those authors that I really really like reading her books whether they are paranormal, whether they're contemporary, I always find myself gravitating towards her books because her books are really binge read worthy, like I read this book literally within I think a day, I couldn't put it down, it was really addictive and that's what I love about her writing. Now as a 28 year old reading this book I did feel a little bit disconnected, for some reason when I read YA books that are set in a high school and they're paranormal or they're fantasy, I kind of find that completely okay because the situations that the characters are going through aren't things that I related to in high school so it's kind of irrelevant but when you get to a contemporary romance that's set in a high school I do sometimes feel a little bit disconnected but I feel that that's more me as a 28 year old reader as opposed to the book itself. But I did enjoy it and I think you guys will too. I would say that I would probably recommend this book to perhaps people that liked Colleen Hoover's Hopeless. I feel like People who like that book would probably like The Problem With Forever. So as far as ratings goes, I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. Now, in reality, this book was probably more of a 3.75 for me, but obviously on Goodreads you can't do that, and I don't usually give books like 0.5 or even 0.3 quarter stars, so I'm going to say 4 stars. I did enjoy this book. It was very well written. I really liked the characters. I really liked the character of Mallory. I felt like she was very well developed. But the reason I've given it just under four stars is because there's a lot of other JLA books that have left a much bigger impact on me and I feel like this book is a very good book. I think it's very well written but I feel like perhaps I'm not the, the target audience for this book. And that's totally okay because it is a coming of age novel. So those are my thoughts on The Problem With Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Like I said, I got this book in exchange for a honest review. That was my honest review. If you guys decide to pick the book up, or maybe if you've already read it, please leave your thoughts down below. No spoilers. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye! 
Also, I'm looking very supernatural today with my supernatural earrings and my supernatural t-shirt. I feel like Jennifer would approve. I have got a lovely selection of signed books to show you, so I'm just gonna jump right in and talk to you about my favorite signed books, who they're by, when they were signed, and why they're my favorite. 